A Kent woman who's been battling mesothelioma, a form of cancer that is usually deadly for almost a decade, is finally in remission after an experimental immunotherapy treatment. Mavis Nye from Whitstable had already been through four rounds of chemotherapy. Kent has high rates of the disease in part due to asbestos in old school buildings and Chatham Dockyard. Our health correspondent Mark Norman has more. Around eight years ago, Mavis Nye was told that she had just three months to live after being diagnosed with mesothelioma. She underwent four years of chemotherapy, but after each treatment, the cancer returned. I couldn't walk. Uh, I had a walking frame. Uh, I just couldn't get around at all. Her husband, Ray, had worked at Chatham Dockyard in the 1950s. Mavis believes she inhaled asbestos dust when washing his clothes. Mesothelioma is frequently a death sentence. It's a cancer that develops typically in the lining of the lungs, usually linked to asbestos. It can take up to 30 years for symptoms to emerge, and we're seeing a spike in numbers, more than 2,600 people diagnosed every year. Asbestos used in the dockyards and schools in our region has caused us a particular problem. More sufferers have received financial compensation here than any other part of the UK, and over a 10-year period, almost 4,000 people have died. Mavis and Ray had all but given up hope of beating the cancer when Mavis took part in a clinical trial. She finished that trial last June and remarkably has been cancer-free ever since. I, I was coming back. I could walk again. I was getting my strength back and uh, gradually I would come back into the human race where I thought I was dying, you know. Incredibly good news for Mavis and her family and all the more remarkable as when we spoke to her three years ago, she expressed her desire to help find a cure, any cure. And they might find a cure from all that, so I would try anything. The scientists conducting this trial are now moving to a third and final stage based on that success and they're recruiting more than 300 new patients to take part. But the science tells us, in theory, this could work. So we will undertake this trial, and then hopefully that evidence will be used to make the decision whether all our future patients in the setting of failed in terms of previous treatments should have immunotherapy as a standard of treatment. We're really excited about immunotherapy um, as a new area of cancer research and being able to harness the power of the body's own immune system and turn that against cancer. Mavis says she owes her life to the NHS and she hopes the new trial will bring hope to others suffering from this disease. Mark Norman, BBC South East Today.